Hello and welcome back to Star Stable. Look at me, I've got a new friend. I couldn't resist. Uh, <laughs> I had to go and buy him first thing this morning because the new Connemaras are so cute. So this is Chip Chip, aka Chip, and uh, he's so cute. I love the new animations. I mean, look at that. Oh! <laughs> Oh, so cute. Oh. oh, they're doing an amazing job with the horses. Every time they bring out a new horse, it's just, it's better than the last one. Uh, but yeah, last week's episode was a bit, um, yeah, um, I crashed, as, yeah, happens, and the server was full, because I was recording around, um, 2 p.m. my time and when I crashed it was a bit after 2 and I'm guessing uh, New Zealanders were home from school so the server was full and I could not get back on for the rest of the day at all so I had to release the video like that but today I will do the uh, <laughs> rest of that quest and I'll do the um, all the Christmas stuff in the Christmas village. I can't wait. It's going to be so nice. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first we'll start off by finishing the quest from last week. Uh, <laughs> I managed to grab all three quests. So let's talk to the janitor. Took long enough to just get a signature. At least I've got it now. I'm sorry I couldn't log back in. The server was full. I tried for hours. Is that Clementine's signature? Yes, good. Have you got Alex's signature? Yes, I have. Hmm, yep. That's all the signatures. Great. Now I don't have to listen to anyone whine at me saying they haven't had their deliveries. Thanks for all your help, Mara. Now I need to get on with some work, but before you go, I've got you a little something. See it as a little Christmas present, in fact. A very small Christmas present. Oh, what you get me? Oh, I get a get Christmas fish. Here you go. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now I'm just going to take care of this floor. Okay, you do that. Hello there, um, whoever you are. Ho ho, these are sad times. You don't understand, there is no winter. No winter, that's the problem. Oh, you humans, haven't considered what happens to Christmas when everything starts getting warmer, have you? What happens to the Christmas spirit when the snow is gone from Jovic? You didn't think of that when you drilled for oil in the Everwind Fields, did you? Excuse me, that was not me. I haven't done any drilling at all. That wasn't you? Oh well. Lucky for you, Santa has solved the problem. If Christmas can't come to Jovic, then Jovic must come to Christmas. Step aboard the sleigh, dear writer. Step aboard and let us fly to Santa's magic Christmas market. <gasps> Let's go. Yay. Oh. We're flying through the sky. That's so pretty. Is that the, the, the Christmas village? Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, this is so nice. Hello, you the same one? Or not? Welcome to Santa's Magic Christmas Market. Thank you. You should go talk to the big guy himself. He wants to greet all visitors personally. You haven't been naughty this year, have you? Ho ho. No, I have not. Just ride down the slope through the Christmas market and you're sure to see him. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Oh, I get something. Let's go. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was fun. That was ice. Um, the green is this way. Oh, I see Santa. Hello, Santa. 
Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the Christmas market, a jolly place where all your holiday dreams come true. At least, I hope they do. I must confess, Mira, I am a bit anxious about this Christmas. You see, I decided to give my usual team of elves a vacation and called in some temporary workers. These little helpers are, how can I put this deli delicately, enthusiastic? They try, oh, they try, but if I am entirely honest, I'm not sure they entirely grasp the spirit of Christmas. They're quite harmless and quite merry once you get to know them. Please enjoy your time here in the Christmas market and come back often. Oh, yes, let's put the red hat on. <laughs> okay, let's do his quest. Ho, 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 I trust you are having a wonderful time here in my magic Christmas market. Excellent. The little helpers I hired to fill in for my vacationing elves have really embraced the spirit of Christmas. At first I was worried that with the teeth and horns the helpers would be more scary than merry, but they've really grown on me. I just realized the Christmas helper thingy in the sleigh looked exactly like the leprechaun from St. Patrick's Quests, except with the, like, the Christmas stuff on. Oh, that's so cool. I am a bit concerned that some of the team leaders haven't sent me their daily reports. Running Christmas is no easy task. Perhaps these helpers could use a little help of their own. But I'm so busy myself with all of these lists to recheck. If only there was someone to assist me. Me, me, I'm here. I'll assist you. I should have known you'd volunteer. After all, you're right at the top of my nice list. Oh, maybe I'll get lots of presents this year. Now, let's see here. I'm missing reports from three little helpers. Pongle, Zingle, and Krangle. Okay. Pongle's icy problems. Uh, the little helper named Pongle is as kind and warm as a roasted chestnut, if a bit of a warrior. That's why I made him my chief security helper. He was supposed to send me a safety report, but I haven't heard from him all day. He's currently stationed by the frozen lake. Perhaps you could go check in on him. I can do that. Let's take all three. Singles, clothing, catastrophe. Tell me the truthfully. Tell, tell me truthfully, young lady. I'm a fashionable fellow, aren't I? The fuzzy red suit, the tummy chin chin pelt. You could say I'm a fashion icon. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. Zingle, the little helper in charge of stocking our holiday fashions, thinks otherwise. He's been pressuring me to throw out my closet and get a total makeover. But what if I don't want to be fierce? Isn't cozy enough? Speaking of Zingle, he's been texting me non-stop. What do you think these emojis means? Sweater, 100% on fire. Is that a good thing? I miss the old, good old days when everyone communicated with handwritten letters and lists. Oh. Maybe you could go check in on Zingle behind the clothing boutique and make sure things aren't unraveling. Okay, yes, and the last one. What is Christmas without comforting baked goods to warm the heart and the tummy? I am something of a cookie connoisseur. I know my way around your snickledoodles and chocolate chip varieties. This season, though, there's a new cook manning the cookie station. Oh, excuse me, a new patissier. Krangle is very particular about the distinction. Krangle and I had a few heated debates about what constitutes a cookie, and after a few deconstructed cookie experiences, we settled on traditional iced gingerbread. I thought everything was running like a well-oiled skillet, but Krangle still hasn't sent me his daily report. Maybe you could check up on him. I can do that. Okay, so there's green over here. Why, hello there, stranger. What are you wearing? Mind if I take a snap for my gram? Don't worry, you're flawless. Oh, thank you. But enough about you. I'm Zingle, and even if you haven't heard of me, you'll be wearing me soon enough. This Christmas, I'm a lowly warehouse helper, but next year I'm designing all the clothes. After all, being fabulous is what Christmas is all about. If only this boutique was as immaculate as my aesthetic. As you can see, it's a catastrophe. Is it? I 
can't see anything wrong. <laughs> it was like this when I arrived this morning. Someone broke into our stock of the season's top fashions and dumped them on the ground like rechecks at the sample sale. Oh, by the way, I love this music. <laughs> oh, you gorgeous puffers and knits. What have they done to you? I'm so shook I can barely stand. Where's a pumpkin spice latte when you need one? You'll pick them up, won't you? Of course you will. You're fierce, horsey lady. Nothing can stop you. Not even a horrible mess. Yeah, okay. I'll pick them up for you. Let's go. This one. This two. I really love this music. Everything is accounted for, and thankfully no damage that a little steam clean and gentle folding can't fix. Christmas is saved. What kind of monster would treat fashion like that? If you hadn't showed up when you did, the only clothes left for Christmas would be ugly sweaters. Help me, I can't bear to think of it. This was no accident, horse lady. This was sabotage. Santa needs to know. You'll tell him, won't you? And remind him about my fashion tips. That jolly man dresses to slay, but if he took my advice, he could dress to slay. Okay. Next one. That's a nice hat you've got. The boss claw sent you? I'm fired, aren't I? Oh, jeez, I should have known my job was on the nice. Just give me a minute to pack my things. What's that? I'm not fired? You're here to help? Well, why didn't you say so sooner? I'm sorry. As chief safety helper, it's my job to enforce proper ice traver traversal technique and minimize slips, falls, and tumbles. I take my job very seriously. Lately, things have gotten terribly dangerous. There are branches scattered all over the lake. Someone could take a nasty spill. It has me so worried, I can't think straight. I'm going to have to close down the lake. It's the only way to ensure no one gets hurt. Unless... You. You have to help pick up the branches scattered across the frozen lake. Safety? That's what Christmas is all about. Okay. Oh, I love her club. The bananas. Ah, uh, this second one. There's the third one over there. Ooh, it's a bit slippy on the ice. I love it. <laughs> there we go. Break out the tinsel, the lake is safe. Although, if you ask me, Christmas would be a lot safer if people and horses stayed off the ice altogether. A cozy indoor Christmas where no one can get hurt. That would be delightful. Okay. I like the ice. <laughs> Something is still bothering me about the mess on the lake. A few branches here or there could have snapped off the trees, but all those piles had to have been deliberate. It's like someone wanted the lake to get shut down. That makes no sense. It says right here on the standard contract all us he little helpers signed when we took on the job. Maximize for merriment and promote jolliness with all guests. Boss Claus should know about this. Can you let him know about the branches and give him my apologies for the late report? I won't let him down again. Yep, I'll do that. And then we have... Oh, here we go. Last one. Are you a health inspector? No? Oh, phew. I was worried. I was worried you were here to shut down this cafe down. You're probably wondering what my confections are doing on the kitchen floor. This cookie baking gig should have been a cakewalk, but someone sabotaged my recipe. Oh no. What do they do? I'm way overqualified to act as Santa's director of cookie operations. Did I let that stop me from taking the job? No. I saw it as a chance to push my craft. The boss wants sugar cookies and gingerbread. I can do that. Find my spin. Flour. Too pedestrian. Let's go with spelt. No oven. Then I'll bake on a campfire. That's what Christmas is all about, right? Thinking outside the box. But then someone went and swapped out my curry powder with cinnamon. Can you imagine gingerbread with cinnamon notes? 
What is this, 1992? My curry ginger crisps would have blown your taste buds. No way I could sell such boring cookies. Okay, so I lost my temper a little and dumped the whole batch on the ground. It's not too late to bake new batch the right way, but someone's got to deal with this mess. I'm making you my honorary sous chef. Make this broom and sweep up the bad batch before any customers or real health inspectors show up. And careful with a broom, it's vintage. Okay, I'll do that for you. Okay. And the last one. Hey, nice job sweeping up the mess. Oh, don't look so sad about it. Sure, those cookies look delicious, but they didn't respect my artistic vision, you know? Maybe I'll save a few of the unbroken ones for that Santa guy for a sale called Cookie Connor, sure. He has really low standards. Finally, I can get back to baking. Forget curry. I'm going to try something new, totally outside the box. You've probably never heard of it. Oats. They're all the rage in Williamsburg right now. Wait, you're telling me that oats are quite normal around these parts? That's unexpected. I have to meditate on this. But about that last part, batch, I'm certain somebody tried to sabotage my baking. Someone here is jealous of my baking mastery. Has to be. Sansa should know about this. You let him know when you give him my report. Okay, I'll do that. Let's head back to Sant. Go. You sorted things out with our little fashionista. Zingle showed me his designs for next year's fashions and they are quite creative. Mrs. Claus usually handles our holiday fashions, but perhaps we could let him design a t-shirt. He does try so hard. This business with the sabotage is quite unsettling. Could it really be a rogue little helper? I thought our team building seminar had been quite effective, but apparently I was wrong. Thank you for checking in on Pongul. This business with the branches is concerning, but I won't start jingling the alarms just yet. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Someone sabotaged Krangle's curry ginger cookie recipe? Well, I can't say I blame them, but on principle, sabotaging someone's baking is a very naughty thing to do. Most troubling. With the big day so near, I should be feeling merrier by the day, but something is keeping me from getting swept up in the Christmas spirit. Oh, Ooh, that's so sad. Goodness gracious. I don't know what's going on. Three separate reports from my little helpers suggest that someone naughty is making mischief in my Christmas market. So far the incidents have been relatively harmless, but they point towards one motive. Someone wants to spoil Christmas for everyone. Oh no. This crash business sounds serious. I hope none of the little helpers were injured. Please, Mira, will you help me get to the bottom of this? Check out the crash and find out what happened. Okay. on the other side of the lake. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it is a crash. Oh no. Fortunately the sleigh crashed into a mound of snow so there isn't any damage to the market and no one got hurt. There's no sign of the sleigh driver. Could this have been the work of the saboteur? I should search the area for clues. Let's do that. Cookie crumbs, they smell like curry. Was that, wasn't that the flavor Krangle was using in his recipe? This present is definitely ruined. I hope whoever this was intended for still gets a gift this year. These sunglasses are so ugly that maybe they're hip. Definitely Zingle's aesthetic. A safety cone like the one Pongle the safety helper was wearing. I'll 
something here. This yoga took quite a tumble in the crash. What an odd thing to wish for as a present. It looks as if the sleigh slid off the ramp and crashed into the snow. It seems unlikely that it... Okay. <laughs> I'm such a slow reader. Okay, I think... Yep, we're going back to Santa. You're back. What did you discover about the crash? We can always fix the sleigh and make more presents. The important thing is that no one was hurt. But if your suspicion is correct, and this is the work of a saboteur, well, I might have to cancel the Christmas market for the rest of the season, unless we can find the saboteur and make sure his naughty streak ends here. Are there any suspects? Hmm, you found clues that Pongle, Zingle, or Krangle could have been behind the crash. This doesn't make sense. I have to think about what to do next. In the meantime, perhaps you could check in on my reindeer. They must be so worried from all the commotion. Okay. Well, they're behind there. I think, can I jump? No. Open the gate then. There. Gingerbread. Oh, okay. There you go. Who's a good reindeer? Oh, that's a clue. There. This is odd. It looks like someone passed through here in a hurry. There's a trail of odds and ends leading away from the stables. I should find out where it leads. Let's do that. Come on, Chip. Got a trail through. Oh, well, well, this way. This way. That way. Okay. And here. Where are we going? This like a shelter thing. Is that where we're going? Ah, oh, yes, here we are. The trail seems to end here. How odd, it looks like someone's been hiding out here in the forest. Could it be the saboteur? But it looks so cozy. I should investigate. Let's investigate. The Santa had sized for one of the little helpers. I wonder who could have dropped it. These pillows look pretty cozy. Back issues of the Jorvik Gazette with the crossword puzzle filled in. Someone had a lot of free time. Seems like whoever built this place has been living on an old cookie diet. That sounds like a nice diet. Unhealthy, but yummy. <laughs> Who are you? What? Who are you? How did you find me? You, you found me, but how? Ah! Uh, oh! Oh, he's gonna run away. Come on, Chip. We gotta catch him. There he is. Up oh, there. Up. Come on, come on. There we go. I got him. Gotcha! Oh, honey. It was me. I put up hazards on the ice. I made the mess behind the shops. I swapped spices in the bakery. I'm guilty. I'm sorry I tried to run. Don't worry, I won't do it again. Honey will go down in history as the little helper who tried to ruin Christmas. You must hate me. It's okay. I deserve it. I'm going to turn myself into Santa. Could you come with me? I don't have the courage to do it alone. Okay. I'll come with you to Santa. Look at him go. Was it a boy or a girl? Oh, wrong way. Honey's a girl's name, but I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Santa. I found the saboteur. Ho, ho, hmm? What's that? You found the saboteur? I did. So the saboteur decided to turn himself in. 
Honey, my little friend, whatever could have possessed you to cause all this trouble? I'm sorry, Santa. I tried to be part of the magic Christmas market. I really did. But we, while all the other little helpers found the spirit of Christmas, I couldn't find it inside me. I don't know what Christmas is all about. It's about safety. Nope, 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 nope. It's about looking fabulous. It's about thinking outside the box. That's Christmas in a nutshell. Wrong? No, you're wrong. Burn the Yule goats. Hold it. Santa, Christmas can't mean all those things, can it? Oh, honey, the spirit of Christmas isn't something you know in your head. It's a feeling you get in your heart when you're with the ones you care about. The spirit has been in you all along, in all of you, in different ways. That Christmas magic comes from bringing all your special gifts together. Like ginger and curry. Like pink sweaters and leopard print leggings. Bringing gifts together. I get it. Santa, Christmas is about presents. 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 Okay. <sighs> it's about presents. Thank you for helping me learn the spirit of Christmas is all about presents. And in that spirit, I have a special present for you. Now, if you don't mind, I have a lot of presents to wrap. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Santa. I got me a reindeer thing. Let's try that on. There we go. Oh, I have a white reindeer. Oh, that's so cute. Yay! Oh, hello, what do you want? Hey, horse lady, you want to play a game? How about find the hats? I hid five Santa hats in the snow around the Christmas market. Betcha can't find them all. Oh, you betcha I can. I can see sparkles already. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't a, uh, just a hat. There's little helpers attached to the hat. Oh, there's another one. That's the last one. Hee <laughs> gotcha! Bet you weren't expecting to find little helpers attached to those hats. Wish I could have seen your face. Hee <laughs> Wanna play again? Please? Please? We'll even give you Christmas wishes that you can spend here in the ice boutique. Fabulous prices. Hee <laughs> hee! We love to hide, so come back to play every day to earn more Christmas wishes. Okay. So this is where you turn in your Christmas wishes? Oh, this is nice. Oh, I'll have to save up and uh, come and get all of these later. Yep, I'll definitely do that. Okay, I think this is one of the new races. So excited to try it out. What's the best thing about Christmas? Dashing through the snow, of course. Jingle. Listen up. Word among us little helpers is that Boss Klaus is looking for drivers to help test drive his sleigh before the big day. If you want the job, show me your Class B sleigh permit that says you're qualified to ride on ice and snow. Jingle, you don't have a Class B sleigh permit? In that case, we need to get you practice. I'm going to start you out on our fast and frosty race. Just pull your sleigh down the slope there loop around the lake and meet up with my colleague Jangle at the finish line. You did bring a sleigh, right? Um, no, no sleigh with me. Jingle? No sleigh either? Fine, we can pivot. Just ride your horse. Ready, set, ho, ho, go! Ooh, 400 horse XP. This is gonna be fun.
was fun. Oh, that was so much fun. Are you jangle? Yes. Silver bells, that was some terrible technique. Okay, thanks. Jingle sent you about a Class B sleigh permit? No way, you're out of the running. Boss Klaus will never let you near his sleigh. Try the Easter Bunny. I hear he's a softy. Jangle, what am I saying? Hard work, discipline, that's what Christmas is all about. Here's what we're gonna do. Go back to Jingle once a day and try the race again. We'll even throw in an incentive. Christmas wishes. Christmas wishes you can redeem for prices at the Ice Boutique. Now I can see you're motivated. Maybe we can even see about getting your Class B sleigh permit before the big night. Oh, great. Okay, I believe this is the last Christmas quest in the Christmas Village for me. What are you so jo jolly about? Can't you see there is a Christmas crisis at hand? Boss Klaus tasked me with bringing today's batch of presents to the market. Everything was smooth slaying when there aroused such a clatter in the cargo. I turned to see what was the matter, and my wandering eyes saw presents jumping out of the sack all on their own. Can you believe it? The reindeer were going down like a flash. I had to perform a controlled crash landing. Managed to save the sleigh, but not before my shipment of presents fell aboard. You gotta help me search around the lake for the missing presents and bring them back before Boss Klaus notices I'm late. It. They're always trying to sneak taste of Krangle's magic biscuits. Seeing as you did me a solid, I'll call in a favor with Boss Klaus and get your name moved to the nice list. What? You're already on the nice list. In that case, I'll see about getting you naughty list immunity for next year. Or I guess you could just take these Christmas wishes. Thank you. Well, that's it for this week. I really love all the Christmas stuff, and I love the Christmas village, especially the music. The music is amazing. I'm so looking forward to more Christmas quests next week, and I will be doing the dailies every day to get all my Christmas wishes, so I can get all the, the, the new Christmas outfit and all that stuff in the Christmas cave petite thingy. But yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!